Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Let me look at you. Easy. Just let me see. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, but fuck. That bruises looks nasty. What happened? You didn't trip. I mean... You're clumsy, but you're not this clumsy. Are you? Down the stairs? Jesus. It's a miracle you're still breathing. You could have knocked yourself out, huh? Yeah. They called me. The nurse did. You know, I'm still your emergency contact on your phone. What do you mean? I came because I was worried. They called and said you were in the ER and refusing treatment so could I please come talk some sense into you. So here I am. Why are you refusing treatment? Yeah, you do need it. They need to look at your head. I know you don't like hospitals, but if you suck it up now, you won't have to come back later if things get worse. They'll find it now and patch you up. Hey, look at me. You need to get look at. I know I can't tell you what to do, but I'm strongly encouraging you to get look at. <sighs> Fine, I can't force you. But they won't release you on your own. So your choice, hospital test or coming with me. Hey, I mean it. I'm not budging on this. Really? Okay, okay, I'll, I'll grab your stuff while you sign out. All good? Okay, can you stand all right? Good, just go slow. No, no, I, I can carry it. My car's outside, this way. Uh, so, um, hospital accident aside, how have you been? Look, it's not easy for me either. I mean, it's been six months. How are things? Possible concussion aside. <laughs> Sorry, I, I promise no more awkward questions. I mean, we aren't together anymore, so... Fuck! Hey! Hey! Eyes open! You okay? I can turn around. Okay, okay. Here we are. <laughs> ah, yeah. I moved a month ago. I just couldn't stay in our place anymore. Yeah. Hey, okay, you don't need to apologize. I mean it. I'm glad that I can help. Lord knows that you can take care of yourself. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop. Don't punch me. Jeez. You're still pretty feisty, huh? <laughs> so, how do you feel? Headache? I can get some I- What? Hey, why are you crying? Hey, 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 wait, you don't need to apologize. Okay. Shh, shh. Hey, it's me, okay? I've seen you in worse situations than this. And you've seen me like that too. I mean, we were together three years. You probably know me better than anyone else. And I know you. I know you're freaking out because I showed up and you weren't expecting it. But just breathe. Come on. In. And out. In. And out. There. Better? Can I get you anything? Tea? Okay. No, I know, I just kept the box. I don't know why. 
Cream and sugar still? Cool. Let me set it up. Okay. Here we go. Tea's got a brew, but should be ready to go soon. <laughs> yeah, well, after living with you, I mean, I guess I got in the habit of having tea on hand. Really? You still have it? No, I just figured after everything happened, you would have thrown it out. I'm glad. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, well, what can I say? You bring out the sap in me. Hmm? Y you've missed me? <laughs> okay, are you serious right now? I mean, this isn't the possible head injury talking. If I hadn't showed up tonight, what would you have done? It does matter. It matters to me. See? You always do this. You always pull away when things get too tough. You never want to open up. This is why we broke up. I know, I know, but babe, you have to let those walls down. Shit. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you that. I mean, it's been six months and I guess it's been a crazy night. <sighs> sorry. Look, uh, you can take the bedroom and I'll sleep here. No, no, it's fine. What? Yeah, I remember that. You, uh, tripped on your new shoes. <laughs> you were so pissed. I had to carry you back to the hotel. Still, really? You remember that? I mean, that was our what? Sixth date? You still have them? Wow. No, no, no. I just mean, you kept the shoes. I mean, I bought them for like 10 bucks. I mean, they weren't even cool. But you kept them? You're... Shit. You're wearing them right now. <laughs> hey. Listen. I miss you. A lot. And I know we had some problems, but I want to work on them. I want to be with you. That first week you weren't with me, I felt like my whole world has just gone dark. There was no color there anymore. Just darkness. And I've been existing. I've been trying to get over you, failing miserably at it. So, when they called, when they said your name and that you were at the hospital, so many things came crashing back. Regrets, wishes, dreams. I want you. Emotional walls and all. I want you. The clumsy guy fall down the stairs and give me a fucking heart attack every other week. I want your smile, which is warmer than the sun. I want your worries so that I can help. I want you. So, what do you say? I'll take that as a yes. Okay. Good, because I'm not letting go this time. Alright, let's get some rest. You've had a rough day. Yeah, babe. I miss you too. <laughs> 